This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Gamers, the year is 2023. Fortnite has been out for a long time. Now, we've already done this before. We did this in 2022 and in 2021. It's time to revisit the game in 2023 to see if anything has changed. So here we go. Here it is, Fortnite. I mean, I, I as you can tell, I've been playing a little bit, but I've only been playing zero build because I, I do like doing the guns and the pew, 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 pew. But we're starting it off with Save the World. Now, hold on. I just got to, you know, we got to go find Save the World. Um, Let's see. Uh, Let's see. Oh, okay. Hold on. I got to go to Epic. Oh, here it is. Just tucked away in a small little corner is a full game. A full game that they created is just tucked away in a small corner. That's crazy to me. Already, this is a big change in my head. I feel like this might have actually made like people forget that it exists. Okay, here we go. Save the world. I mean, it looks the same. Just surprise, surprise. I mean, look at Mr. Beast is even like, I don't know what you expected. Armory, locker, llama shop, all that is the same. The one thing that I thought was kind of funny was that in December, right before the new year, they released a new pack that includes Save the World and um, it comes with the skin. So it's like a VR skin. I think it's kind of cool. They did this last year, as you can see, and it's like the same thing. I would honestly expect them to have a skin next year in December for 2024. So as you can see right beneath me here is that there are actually some quests. Look at this. We have Ventures, No Dancing, The Operation Broken Hearts, War Games, and the blockbuster thing. Now it says new down here, but don't let that confuse you because it is definitely not new. All of that content is recycled content. War Games released in 2019. Blockbuster has been here since like 2005. It's obviously an exaggeration. Operation Broken Hearts, again, since the beginning of Fortnite. Adventure is not new either. The funniest thing to me is that they still release updates. This is actually February 14th. So five days ago, they released status up reports. You know, hey, we have War War games week four war games week five new content it's all just recycled content i mean we have like new skins wow oh my god you can get dashing hawk and uh anti cuddle sarah but i mean let's be realistic here this is not new but we talked about this last year we're not expecting new content let's be honest it's a missed opportunity i think i think fortnite save the world could have become like destiny 2 an mmorpg you're exploring a, an open world you can fight bosses you can fight mobs do quests it would have been awesome but uh, instead we got left for dead 2 and they just stopped updating it so it is what it is even though we all clown on fortnite save the world for you know kind of abandoning this game we gotta be honest this was special having your own storm shield any ogs will remember i turned my storm shield into a hoverboard racetrack and i will keep it like this for the rest of time but we're gonna move on to the next thing we're not gonna talk about just save the world today we're gonna be talking about the entirety of fortnite so let's jump on to the next topic now, something you might not have known is that Roblox is the biggest game for like younger kids. It's like the biggest time waster for anyone under the age of like 12. And this is not like a like a diss or anything. It's just impressive. If you have ever played Roblox, you might have noticed how Fortnite Creative is starting to look a lot like Roblox with the amount of different games that you can play. I mean, look at this Doors, which is the biggest game in Roblox right now with like 100,000 players playing like every minute. We have someone who is making who has made their own doors which is just smart you know 100 button challenge like an escape room survive 100 days underwater i mean it's i mean look at this this is that's a great thumbnail to be fair <laughs> that's awesome so not only is fortnite starting to feel like roblox but it's also but it's also starting to feel like grand theft auto i mean look at the game i'm playing right now you get into a car and you have to make it onto the target I, I don't know what you would call this in grand theft auto i mean it's it's very clearly like trying to be something that it's not oh man i'm good ah ah Oh, I mean, we'll take a 50. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I think that is the number one thing that like I like about Fortnite is the creative maps. I think that's awesome. You can, I mean, you can play, I mean, you can literally play Rocket League in Fortnite. I mean, that's, that's great. That's, that's crazy to me. But before we go on to the next topic, we have to talk about the sponsor of the day and that is Squarespace. Oh, interesting. So I just got this letter in the mail and it says that you have no idea what Squarespace is. So let me go ahead and tell you about what the service is. Definitely not furniture. That is definitely not furniture. Now, are you guys in need of a website that can represent your brand, your business, whatever you want to do? And Squarespace is the place for you. With Squarespace, you can sell services online, schedule appointments, you can sell products. And did I mention to make those websites? It's super easy because they have templates already ready 
and available for you to use. I'm sure you're probably thinking to me, Alex, I don't have a product or a service to sell, but everyone here is a creator. Let's be honest. We're all video creators. We're all creators here. So I would be ashamed for me not to mention the fact that Squarespace has amazing tools to help you become the best creator that you can be. Easy video creation, customized for you, resize and share anywhere. I'm definitely not just reading what's on the website that you can do in the link in the description. As always, guys, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash alexace and add code alexace at checkout to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Let's get back to the video. All right, I'm going to talk about this even though I don't really play it much, and that's Battle Royale. I mean, there's not much to say about it. Zero Build was introduced in March of 2022. It's still here, and it's awesome. We can talk about the Battle Pass skins real quick. Let's just do a quick rating. A good, eh, good, eh, it's all right, eh. It's all right. Oh, banger. Oh, banger. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Eh, eh. That's the biggest piece of dog. That's the biggest piece of dog. It's perfect. It's perfect. Perfect. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't really need to talk about Fortnite. I mean, I don't really need to talk about normal Fortnite. It's just the same. It's just, it's just, just Fortnite. You shoot the guns. You go pew, pew, pew. I can, I can technically talk about like the meta of the guns and stuff, but the fact that they've added in like the hammer and like the movement and like the new kind of funny guns, I think that's good. It reminds me of old Fortnite. I don't like when it's just all sweaty ass guns where it's everyone's just using P90s or SMGs. So I do like that and I like the new perk system. So I think overall the season has been pretty good. Nothing really to report on. But something I didn't think I would be talking about is actually Fortnite content. You know, if you were to go onto Fortnite and sort YouTube by view count, you'd actually notice that a lot of the Fortnite content is not really content anymore. It's YouTube shorts. You probably noticed this with a lot of your favorite creators uploading YouTube shorts. It's normal everyone likes short form content i'm sure most of you probably watch youtube shorts so you're gonna see this happen with your favorite creators but i have to give credit to where credit is due and that you know especially to like mao right here mao making a banger thumbnail banger video for by every kill equals the worst keyboard like that's a great idea you still have fashion shows going on strong tg plays fashion shows you love to see it you have awesome game shows you know with courage doing a great job Fortnite myths. I'm sure you guys are probably definitely not tired of Fortnite myths, right guys? We, we love Fortnite myths. Yeah. And of course, you know, the random loot challenge that's going to be here forever. I'm actually curious to hear what you guys think about the current state of Fortnite content, whether you like it or not, whether you care about it or not. For me, it's kind of hard to form an opinion because a lot of the creators are my friends. They're my personal friends. So I can't be like, oh yeah, they're all bangers as I'm biased. But guys, that's it. That's Fortnite in 2023. And, and I'm sure it's only going to get better from here on out when Fortnite eventually releases their creative Fortnite 2.0 or whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. Fortnite will become the new Roblox. So you, I hope you guys have been enjoying Fortnite because it's here to stay. But a quick shout out to the sponsor. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring as always. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys want me to make some more Fortnite videos, let me know in the comments down below. But I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching and goodbye.